Right, here's a question where you're asked to rationalize the denominator. So it's just this question right there. That's just the same one. Okay, to rationalize the denominator, you need to multiply top and bottom by the conjugate of the bottom. So the conjugate is the same as the bottom, so 5, root 3 and root 15, but instead of a minus there, you put a plus. If you multiply the bottom, have to multiply the top too by the exact same thing. So now we get to FOIL all of these uh, binomials. So let's start with the top one. I'll color code things. So that times that will be 5 root 3. This times this will be a plus root 15. This times this will be a minus 5 root 15. And this times this will be minus root 5 times 15, 75, I think. Over, okay, multiply the bottom one. This times this will be uh, 25 root 9. This times this will be plus 5 root 45. Hmm. This times this will be minus 5 root 45. And lastly, this times this will be minus root 225. Now I have to simplify. <laughs> ah. Okay, so 5 root 3, can't do anything with that. Here I have a minus or a plus root 15 minus 5 root 15. So it's like 1 minus 5 would be a negative 4 root 15. And then 75, I think I can rewrite that as root 25 times root 3. Now why did I break it down like that? Because 25, I can simplify it, and 25 is one of those perfect square numbers. And so I can take the square root of 25 and it'll just be 5. So I'll be able to simplify that. Okay, then I have 25, oh, square root of 9, I know it's just 3. 5 root 45 minus, oh, these cancel. And then I have minus, okay, 225, square root of 20, 225. I think that one comes out uh, evenly too, not as 115, just as 15. Okay, back up to the top. Let's see where we're at. So I have 5 root 3 minus 4 root 15 minus 5 root 3 all over. 25 times 3 is 75 minus 15. Okay, still going. Uh, whoops. Still going. So now, oh, on the top, the 5 root 3s, a plus and a minus, they cancel. So on the top, I have minus 4 root 15. On the bottom, 75 take away 15, I think is 60. Whew, feeling pretty good here. Now 60, I can simplify that too. Minus 4 root 15. 60 is the same thing as 4 times 15. So the 4s cancel. And I'm left with, in the end, a negative root 15 over positive 15. Lots of simplifying. If you can do one of those things, you can do anything. That's uh, uh, Keeping track of all those radicals is uh, not an easy thing to do. You need to do a couple. Once you get onto it, um, you make fewer and fewer mistakes.